The story begins with a woman named Ruby who wakes up every 3 a.m. to accompany her father Frank and her brother Leo to catch fish in the sea. They are a fisherman's family who have physical disabilities, they cannot hear voices or are deaf. Except for Ruby, so Ruby is the only person who can hear in the family. While her father, mother and older brother are all deaf. After helping her family catch fish, she then went to school. But of course, due to work fatigue, she often fell asleep in class. Ruby has a friend named Audra. At school Ruby is very difficult to make friends, even her classmates often mock Ruby because she smells of fish. After school Ruby was picked up by her parents and often Ruby felt embarrassed because her deaf parents often came to pick her up with very loud music. The three of them then went to the dermatologist because Ruby's parents had skin problems. There, Ruby had to explain her parents' complaints to the doctor. Living in a deaf family certainly brings its own challenges for Ruby. Especially when her family is too noisy in silence. Like cleaning something too rough or putting things too hard. But even so Ruby loves her family very much. At school, Ruby tried to join the choir extracurricular, but during the placement test, all the members were asked to sing one by one. When it was Ruby's turn, their gazes seemed to belittle her. Thus making Ruby insecure and run away from there. When in fact Ruby's voice is very good, the proof is when alone in a lake, Ruby sings with a very good voice. One night, Ruby saw her parents talking in sign language. Ruby realized that her parents were experiencing economic difficulties. The fishing business they live in does not make much profit. Because of that Ruby came to mind, her father was only an expert in the job and could not work in other fields. In addition, regulations for fishing in the waters of this city have never been in favor of fishermen. The next day, Ruby tried to visit Mr. B again. Mr. B asked why Ruby ran away at that time. Ruby explained she was afraid of being ridiculed by her friends. Mr. B remembered that Ruby was a child with a deaf family, he said that Ruby did not need to worry about it. Mr. B said that there are many people who have beautiful voices but not all of them are able to convey the meaning in the songs that are sung. Since then Ruby has returned to attend extracurricular activities and because of Ruby's good voice she is able to steal the attention of her friends, including Miles. The man that Ruby had liked for a long time. When class is over, Mr. B calls Ruby and Miles to tell them to be a duet couple at the fall concert. After school, Ruby followed her father and brother to a fish shop. Fortunately Ruby's presence there was able to help her father from cheating collectors who like to buy their fish at low prices. Ruby who could hear of course told Leo that. But Leo didn't like it when Ruby made him too incapable of taking care of it. Actually from the start Ruby and Leo told their father to try selling their own fish. But his father was too afraid that their fish would not sell and they would not earn any money. The next day, when the choir class was over, Mr. B took Miles and Ruby to practice. At first, Mr. B thought that they had been training together. But because their performance was not good, they finally admitted that they were training in their respective places. Mr. B is angry. Because the duet couple should sing together and he told them both to sing more harmoniously. After Miles comes home, Mr. B asks what Ruby's plans are when she graduates. Ruby said that she would probably work with her father, since she didn't have the money to continue her studies. Mr. B says he trained Miles to put him in music college on a scholarship. And if Ruby will. Mr. B will help her to fight because according to Mr. B, Ruby has a good voice and he will offer his help to train Ruby directly. At home, Ruby told her mother that she was in the choir. But instead his mother said, if you were blind would you paint? Hearing that, Ruby was annoyed that not everything she did had to be related to her family. One day, Ruby invites Miles to practice at home. Ruby and Miles' arrival was of course unknown to Ruby's parents. They practice in Ruby's room to sing the song Mr. B asked. At first they practice smoothly, until finally they accidentally hear the sound of Ruby's parents making love. Ruby, who was embarrassed by this, was forced to tell Miles to leave her house. Then at school during lunch in the canteen, Ruby got ridicule from her friends. Ruby of course knew the meaning of their taunts and gestures, and annoyed Ruby left from there. Miles, who saw that, chased after Ruby to apologize, he admitted that he only told one of his friends. He had no idea that the story would spread. Maybe it's funny to them. But certainly not funny for Ruby. The lack of his parents was not something to be laughed at. In the afternoon, Ruby went to Mr. B's house for her first private practice. Initially it was very difficult for Ruby to bring out the character of her good voice. But Mr. B always has a unique way of making Ruby enjoy with his training methods. So that Ruby can bring out her abilities to the maximum. No, sing on me. Win and lose somehow. Yes! After returning from there, Ruby followed her father to a gathering place for fishermen with dock management. In the midst of talking about quota issues and so on, Frank tried to speak by being translated by Ruby. Frank's words were heard by the fishermen, Frank revealed that he no longer wanted to sell his fish to collectors. He and Leo also invited other fishermen to jointly sell their own fish and it was possible that their income would be doubled. Of course, Frank's words were just spontaneous because they got carried away. At home, they are worried and dizzy about how they can get the money to get started. 
Frank told his wife to do the books with the other fishermen's wives, because that was the only way they could take it. After that, they started distributing leaflets to invite the fishermen to open a corporation together. Long story short, they even rented an empty kiosk to start their business. In the midst of busy helping her family, Ruby remains focused on her music lessons with Mr. B even though Ruby seems to come late every day. Ruby is indispensable for the survival of her family's company, because she is the only person who can communicate with outsiders by phone. But over time, it finally made Mr. B annoyed. Because he thought Ruby disrespected him and wasted his time. Ruby apologized and promised not to do it again. But one day, when Ruby tried to come on time. Her mother actually forbade and begged Ruby not to go anywhere, because that afternoon they were going to be interviewed by the TV because of the breakthrough they made to help the fishermen. At first Ruby was angry because she also had her own activity. But her mother kept begging because only Ruby could connect them during this interview. So Ruby was forced to finally not go and stay to help her family become translators. Because it was so long late, when Ruby came. Mr. B didn't even want to open the door to his house. So when at school Ruby tried to apologize. But Mr. B said that Ruby wasn't ready for this. He even said that with such indiscipline, Ruby would not be able to live and compete on campus later. When at home, Ruby tries to talk to her family about her desire to study at a famous music college. She said that her teacher at school wanted to help her get a scholarship. But according to her parents, this is not the right time, they consider Ruby as the most important part of the family business. But Ruby said she was tired and there was no way she would be an interpreter for the rest of her life. Moreover, he would not stay with them forever. Ruby said she really likes singing and this is a great opportunity for her. The next day, because she was upset with her parents. Ruby decided not to go fishing, so only Leo and Frank worked. Unfortunately, that day an observer assigned by the government came to their ship. Of course without Ruby they would be speechless. This observer's job is to monitor whether they carry out regulations properly or not. When they can't answer the observer's question. Frank wrote something to tell them they were deaf. Because she just realized that Frank and Leo are deaf. The observer immediately contacted the Coast Guard. Long story short, the Coast Guard contacted them via radio. Of course they couldn't hear the call and because of that they were stopped and banned. On the other hand, Ruby went with Miles. Miles tries to apologize to Ruby for his earlier mistake. After Ruby forgives Miles, they spend time swimming in the lake. After returning home, Ruby realized that her family was facing a new problem. Frank's sailing license was suspended and he couldn't fish for a while. Her father and mother blamed Ruby for the incident. But Leo tries to defend Ruby by saying that they should have a crew that can hear. Because Ruby can't always accompany them. A few days later, they were finally brought to trial. In addition to having to pay a fine of $2,000 for sailing in a dangerous way, they also have to provide a crew who can hear to answer radio calls and so on. Actually finding someone who can hear is very easy, but the problem is who has sign language skills like Ruby. That night, hearing that Frank was going to sell his boat, Ruby decided that she would put off her dream of going to college to help out with the family business. Leo was against the decision, but Ruby was confident in her decision. Leo was angry with his sister's decision and left the dining table. The next day, Ruby tried to talk to Leo, Leo was still angry at Ruby, what Leo said actually made a lot of sense. Because Ruby can't stay with her family forever. Leo heard from his friend that Ruby can really sing and Leo wants Ruby to keep pursuing her dream. Leo said he could take care of all this because he was a big brother. The proof is our family was fine before you were born, Leo said. He just didn't want to be thought of as a pitiful person because of his flaws. Long story short, the high school choir's annual fall concert begins. Ruby's family was also there, although they realized that they could only see. When the choir team sings, Frank and his wife Jackie can only talk about how beautiful their daughter is on stage. They also clap their hands when others did. When it came to the session, Ruby and Miles sang a duet on stage. Frank really couldn't hear how good Ruby's voice was, all he could do was look at the expressions of the other people watching their princess. Expressions of amazement and admiration, some even burst into tears when they saw Ruby's performance. It was then that Frank and Jackie finally found out that Ruby really could sing. After that, Mr. B tries to get acquainted with Frank and Jackie. Mr. B tells them that Ruby has a really good voice and you guys regret not letting her go to college. But Ruby seems to only translate the first sentence. Arriving home, Ruby accompanied Frank outside. There Frank asked Ruby to tell about the song she sang on stage earlier. Ruby also said, the song tells about what it means to need other people. Frank asked Ruby to sing for him. By holding Ruby's neck. Frank tried to listen through the vibrations of the sound. Immediately Frank was very moved to hear his daughter sing. The next morning, Frank made a surprise. It turned out that they all decided to take Ruby to audition for college. A sudden decision. But they think Ruby deserves this opportunity. When she got there, it looked like Miles had finished his audition, but unfortunately he thought he made a mistake and might fail the audition. It was Ruby's turn to sing, at the same time Mr. B came to accompany Ruby with the sound of the piano. 
Ruby sang a song that had been rehearsed for months with Mr. B. Ruby's performance was special when she also explained the lyrics to her family who were in the stands and it was very impressive for the examiners. Moons and Junes and Ferris wheels It's love's illusion I really don't know love at all While waiting for the results of the campus selection, Ruby still accompanies her family to catch fish and manage the company. Now family members have also started trying to be independent without Ruby. Until the day of the announcement arrived and Ruby was finally accepted at the campus. Mr. B is also proud of Ruby's achievements and never thought that their efforts had been successful. In a short time, the day Ruby went to Boston for college arrived. With a heavy heart, Frank, Jackie and Leo finally have to let Ruby go to reach the dreams. Despite the shortcomings of the Ruby family. In fact, no family is perfect. We will always argue or fight, we often don't even talk to each other. But in the end, family is still family. Where love will always be there.